Hi, I'm Natalie from the Sacred School of Omna. And I wanted to share with you some insights that I've been given. And this insight is about attachment. It's also connected to the weekly message of listening to your heart chakra by Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Hope. We're being asked to listen to our heart chakras and yet the areas that we wish to listen to gain guidance for in our realities are often the areas that we are most attached to. We are most attached to the outcome. So for example, if there is um, a crossroads in your life and this crossroads is extremely important it will change your reality and so you're really attached to the outcome you really need guidance and because you really need guidance you're really trying to listen to your heart and you're not getting anything and yes it is because you are attached to the outcome because you know the guidance that you have will truly influence your reality and will change your reality but it feels like to me especially that there is a need for us in order to listen to our hearts and our souls we have to first let go of all attachments which can be really difficult if i could say to you drop all attachments now I don't think you could do it. I don't think I could do it. Um, most probably because I'm not truly aware of all my attachments. But it is becoming easier and I am becoming aware of them. As I'm sure you are also. But how do we let go of our attachments? How do we even recognize them? I think it's important to realize when you're needing something and to ask yourself why you're needing it. So for example, if you feel like you need a new job or you feel you need a new home or anything, maybe you have an attachment to a person in your reality, you feel like you need them like they have to be there then that is an attachment because in truth you do not need anything outside of yourself everything is within you and can be expressed magnified and manifested from within your being and maybe this understanding you have been aware of for some time but now it feels like it is the time to really understand our attachments and to really let them go. So maybe you find an area in your reality where you have a need. Because I find it easier to refer to as attachments to as needs. If you really need something then observe it, ask yourself, why do I need this? Because it is most probably that this need comes from a fear. A fear of lacking, maybe self-doubt. It could be anything, but it comes from another source where you're, I could say, lacking. Maybe you're not loving yourself enough. Maybe you're not understanding that you're in the divine flow of abundance where everything is provided for you. Maybe you're not realizing that it's perfectly fine for you to be on your own because you have so much love to give yourself. When you begin to understand that your need is somewhat unneeded, then you let go of the attachment 
and you realize that what you need may not actually serve you and it may not be the goal that is most appropriate for you. And if you let go of this, then other opportunities, other manifestations are able to manifest more fully. And it's as if you're breathing in deeply and you're exhaling and you're just allowing all the attachments to flow away. Do you actually need anything in this lifetime? Yes, you need food, you need water, you need clothes, you need a home, you need warmth. Yes, you may even need friends. We all need support. But need is a word. Do we really need support? Support can serve us. But we don't necessarily need it. We can take this a step further. Do we need the energy of the Creator? I know it would be easy to say, yes, we do need the energy of the Creator. We demand that we experience the energy of the Creator, that we are the energy of the Creator. But what would be maybe a better way is that the energy of the Creator serves us. It serves us in many ways. It supports us. And however this service, this support chooses to manifest however we wish to bring it forward into our reality. This is divinely appropriate. So we are letting go, surrendering into that often our needs aren't what is appropriate or what will serve us. And if you can look into that, if you can comprehend that more and more, then I feel it will assist you. It will clear away somewhat the confusion, the even anxiety of trying to listen, trying to gain the guidance and not receiving it because you always receive the guidance that you need. And again, I've used that word, need. You always receive the guidance that serves you. But it may not come when you feel like you need it. It will come when it serves you. It's interesting seeing maybe in your reality when you use the word need, even if you're talking to yourself, and maybe changing this word from need to serves. Serves you, serves others, or any other word that is appropriate. Maybe this will help in dissolving the attachment and allowing for our connection with our heart chakra to become clearer. If you choose to look into what I've said, today more fully, I feel even looking back um, myself that there is a lot to comprehend. We can go deeper in those different areas to gain greater realization. So that's something that you can choose if it serves you. So I hope that's been helpful. I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you.